So I was searching through Azure Lane to see what common light carriers we can compare, and I'm missing one. So let's put that in. Here. And we have Bogue. Okay. She likes baseball. If you're a baseball fan, she's a good ship. And if you like her, a retrofitter. Because who doesn't like baseball, right? Um so start comparing these stats. Uh she has three thousand five hundred and eighty nine hit points, which is the lowest among all light common aircraft carriers. Um the highest is Ranger with 4,360. The second highest is Flying Leap with 4,085. And the second lowest is Herms with 3,763. Now, starting from the hit points, it doesn't look like she's doing that well. They all have medium armor, the light common carrier, so that's decent. Um, what I noticed compared to all the other like common carries is that she has an incredibly high luck stat. You're probably wondering why. Um, well, partly to balance the game, but it also has something to do with her history. Um, she was a submarine hunter carrier, basically in the Atlantic escorting convoys. She formed a hunter killer group specifically designed to find and sink submarines. And as you notice, that's why her anti-submarine warfare stat is really high compared to all these other ships you're looking at right now. And because she's good at hunting submarines, she has a high luck stat. Um, so, you have fighters with 130% efficiency, dive bombers with 145% efficiency, and anti-air guns with 85% efficiency. That is okay, I could say. Um, specifically dive bombers. Um, uh, I'll show you which gear I'm running in a minute, but take a look at her skill. So, her limit breaks, as you can see, fire the efficiency, hangar capacity number of all planes. Um, she has a fast takeoff. She can have a 15% chance for her next airstrike to become available immediately. And her second skill, which you don't have until you retrofit her fully, is the anti-air for Mac for the main fleet by max of 15% and it does not sag with AA cruisers. Um, she is not that bad, actually, in my opinion. Um, to be honest, I like this ship. I like this ship. It's a really good ship. Let's check out retrofit on. Amazing. There's Herms. Um, there's Langley, and there's Ranger. So, let's take a look at the boat. Back and take a look at the boat. What she said. Yep. Especially against convoy ships. Do I click it? Say something. Now you might notice these green numbers here. These green numbers mean the stats can be pushed above 100 and that's the bonus giving above 100. It doesn't show as a white number regular stat due to the fact that I guess the way the game is designed her stat is like that. Um, so the equipment I'm running is the F6F F Hellcat as you can see. Uh, I'm running the BTD-1 destroyer with the 220 mils, and I'm running the BTD because she, 
it has a huge big bomb, 1,600 pounds, which is phenomenal. AA guns, 60, 76 millimeter AA guns. You guys might want to run the 40 millimeter Bofors or pom pom, whatever, whatever guns that have really good DPS. You might run it. You might want to run that. Um, for the Hellcat, um, it carries two 500 pounds. It depends on the plane. You guys might want to run a Corsair. It's really up to you. Um, I'm running the Tier 2 Steam Catapult with the uh, Aviation increased to 57 and the Hit Points increased to 48. For the last gear, I'm running the Aviation Oil Tank, which increases the HP of each foot aircraft by 1 to 20, and it does not stack. So, um... There's also anti-submarine warfare planes that you could run. For example, you could run the TBM-3 Avenger. If you want to. Yeah, so... I'm gonna change this back to... Aviation oil tank. So, without further to do, um, that's my setup. So, let's let's go into some battles, shall we? Um, do eight one because it's a pretty high level. Let's see how she does in eight one. To close this out. Um, good level seventy nine. Pretty high. Pretty competitive too, so I have Bogue in the center and let's see how she does. She's usually the first carrier to proc an airstrike for me. Usually. Go curveball, she just said that. Her aviation is also high. Which is pretty good, because you can establish air superiority. If you have some decent fighters, like a Corsair or maybe a Hellcat, you can establish air dominance. Keep in mind that it's not the best to run her alone, because providing AA buffs, you want it against destroyers, possibly cruisers. So, she got a lot of XP, 910, because she's the flagship. I put her as the flagship. Go to the next. And... I'm just gonna auto-battle this, because... Why not, right? As you can see, my ships are really well in the high levels. Some of them, a lot of these ships are above level 100. Which I want to push to level 120, if possible. As you can see, the bombs are deadly. As you saw that, the bombs just killed the cruiser. So the BTD dive bombers are really deadly. So I'm just gonna go here next and battle. That's what we can do. And because she's a common carrier, she reduces the amount of oil spent. So if you want to save on oil, equip her. Her rarity changes with the retrofit from common to rare which is blue which is a blue background pretty good however it does not change her oil consumption to a higher oil consumption
push if you want to save oil. Pretty good. On my BTDs, and I'm calling in Hornet with the B25. And yes, I have Hornet skill max to 50%. All in the B25. Um, so far she's doing pretty good in the battle. I have no complaints about her. Let's think this battle should pass it. Going for a hard mode, if possible. So you guys kind of get the gist of. She's pretty average, you could say. But in terms of tanking damage, it's not that good. With the lowest amount of hit points, not really. As you can see, those are bombing ships. Yeah, bombing ships are really terrible because if they get past you, they're gonna damage your backline. And they're gonna take a lot of damage, which is not that good. I might post a different video on how to counter suicide boats. However, I might have to wait because I'm leveling up Aurora, which has a special skill against suicide boats. Oh crap. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Either take this or this. You know what? I'll take this. <laughs> that was terrible. That was so bad. Oh my god. Move them out of the way. Get all the battle this. Um. I have pretty good cruisers in my fleet. Um, I'm running Helena, which increases a certain amount of damage with her skill, and I'm running Cleveland, which can shoot down a lot of the planes. I know Oak's skill does not double with Cleveland's skill, but even then, Cleveland is so dangerous because she has a really high anti-aircraft. And she's a good starter ship. Pretty good. Cleveland. Oh, let's see. Let's get both out. See how bad this will be. We're probably gonna be really bad. Go curveball. Damn it, this type of got past. That's what I don't like about auto. The problem with auto is that sometimes suicide boats get past. With the actual controls, you can actually control it. But then again, because my ships are so high level, they can take a heavy beating before me having to take control. And the boss is coming really soon. Come on. There's the boss. And Bogue skill is going to proc right now. Bogue is going to proc right now. And she's going to hit him. Some die farmers. Drop him from 41 hit points of, of bars of health to like 30. As you saw right there. Which is pretty dangerous. And because I have Hornet doing even more damage. And Azuma. I already have her. Um, she's pretty good. Let's see what she says right now. Uh, oh, oh, uh, yeah. There's an event right now. So, turn their heads looking that way and turn. Yeah, that's something else. As you can see, she likes learning a lot. 
especially since playing baseball. Um, if you like this video, subscribe and like, and next ship review I'm gonna do, I haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna choose one. Um, you guys can request for ships down in the comment section if you want to see which one you want to do next. Want to do next? Um, however, I can only do ships that are around level 100 due to the fact that they have max stats there. Um, so until then, I'll see you in the next video with the next ship review. Enjoy.